<clears throat> Excuse me, sir. How would you like your sorcerer? Supreme. <laughs> you see what I did there? What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Stars Number One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphaelis, and today we're going to be unboxing the SH Figure Arts Avengers Infinity, Infinity War Doctor Strange Battle on Titan Edition. And we're going to open this up. We're going to look at paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. And if you're looking to pick this guy up, you know where to go! You can go to www.dstartoys.com. You're liable. Source for awesome Ash figures. Hello, everyone on Twitch. Thank you for sitting through me look, trying to figure out puns and jokes for this guy it's time to do a shout out let's see scorpion flame 66 how's it going Aaron Stover how's it going man Autobot gaming welcome to the stream Nexodite hello hello e edition on twitch how's it going Mr. Derpius 101 welcome welcome Carlitos QR hello again and everyone else in the stream let's see am I missing one yeah Kenny B 85 what's up man welcome welcome Cookie, Cookie the dog. Welcome back, my friend. We're all here. There's uh, about 20 people here on the stream. We're going to unbox this and we're going to see what he's about. So enough of me talking. Let's go to the top can. Let's see what this guy is all about. Now, one thing that I have to tell everyone about this figure. Oh, we didn't go to the top can on Twitch. There we go. One thing that we have to know about this figure that, that's so awesome despite... Oh, whoa, hold on. Hold on. Ooh, look at that. We forgot about this. Um, one thing that I noticed about this figure is that he has a wired cape. It just makes sense for him to have a wired cape. Why didn't the first edition of Doctor Strange um, come with wired cape? I mean, come on. His cape is alive. Why is the other ones plastic and stuff? Wait, wait is it plastic? Someone remind me down in the comments down below. But yeah, this one is a wired cape and it looks really, really solid. So let's get out of the top cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's get out of the top hand. Let's see what we're dealing with here. And let's zoom in and let's see. So first things first, does this look like Benedict Cumberbatch? And I have to say, yes, it really does. Uh, when Whenever I look at these realistic SH figure arts, the one thing that you have to note is from afar, they look good. And here's what I'm saying. So when you look far, yeah, that looks great. It looks like you jumped right out of the movie. But when you look really close, you're going to almost see, like, individual pixels, almost. Like, like you could tell that it, it, was, it was 3D scanned, and they put a picture on a face. And that's kind of the issue whenever you look at these up close. They don't look fantastic. But from, when, let's say, we push them back like a foot, yeah, looking great, looking solid. Then when you get closer... Not so much. So, uh, yeah, that's my take on it. But everything else looks really cool. We're going to look at the cape in just a bit. Let's look at his... Well, he's not really the Sorcerer Supreme now, is he? But anyway, um, there's the suit right there looking really cool. His uh, Sorcerer suit. We're just going to call it Sorcerer suit because I don't believe he's Sorcerer Supreme yet. So anyway, look at these um, bands or his wrist gauntlets looking really cool. Looks like they wrapped it up really nicely here. Lots of detail. It's also textured, so it's not just painted on it actually is textured right there so it looks like it's really wrapped and really nice the soft plastic right here on the skirt look really good it it bends decently well it's a little bit rigid so but can you do kicks and yes he can he can do kicks and whatnot sidekick not a full sidekick but it, it it's still there and it still can move with his kick so there you have it right there and there's his boost right here looking re really really good now let's look at the most important part to me Let's zoom out. Is the cape. So the cape is really nice. It's wired. It can do all kinds of cool stuff. There is no inside wire to my surprise. I thought there would be, but there isn't. There's only outside, so it goes all the way around from here, and you can get a decent look to keep. Look at that. See, it sticks. It keeps really nicely, and then it translates really well for this figure. Even though it doesn't have an inside wire, it still looks really cool. So there you have it. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with that cape, and that looks really, really good. Now, 
Let's go into articulation scale. Let's see how tall this guy stands. He's looking at under six inches, just under, but a little bit over three and a quarters. But we got to see how he stands with other action figures. Let's push this effect piece aside. Let's see if he can even stand. There you go. He can stand decently well. Let's push him back. And now we got to see how he does with enemy heroes, Bardock, Super Saiyan Bardock. So there you have it. And of course, you got to have other Avengers here. SH Figure Arts, Cap vs. Cap, Captain America. And of course, my favorite Iron Man, Vanilla Coke Iron Man. And that's how he stands with him. We got Enemy Heroes Deku, Custom GT Goku with Super Saiyan blue hair, Marvel Legends Cyborg Spider Man. We're just going through the line here. Last but not least, SH Figure Arts Bardock. And that's how he stands and scales with them. And uh, you know what? I'm starting to think that he actually scaled this guy a little bit bigger. He looks like he was scaling really well with all the other action figures. So here we go. Do we have it up and down here at the toe? Yes, we do. We're looking at articulation now. We have it up and down here at the ankle, and we do not have an ankle swivel. That's unfortunate. We have a single joint here at the knee. We got a ball joint here at the crotch. So no version 2 joints on this guy, unfortunately. Uh, we do have an ab crunch right here. Looks like we have only one joint at the midsection. We have shoulder joint right here for butterfly joints. Looks like there's two right there. We got a single joint here at the elbow. We got a single joint here at the wrist. And looks like we have two at the neck. Yes, we do. We have one, two at the neck looking to be probably under 20 points of articulation. I think the, the, the Marvel figures, a lot of them don't have double jointed elbows and knees. So therefore, it loses the articulation points. But can he articulate? Can he fly in the air? Can you do the piccolo meditation pose? Yes, he can. Maybe a little bit higher. There you have it. And can you do side kicks? Absolutely. Front kicks, flying knees, sure you can. And not that he needs to do it. Boom, boom, boom. Superhero landing with the cape all flying up in the air. Hey, can he punch the ground? Not so much because the, the skirt is actually in the way. Because um, it's a little bit too rigid, but you can do like a knee landing right there. That looks really cool. So anyway, he's articulated. Um, not arti as articulated as some other action figures, but he does have quite a bit of articulation points. And he's very detailed when he does it. So anyway, let's go on to accessories. Let's see what we're dealing with here. We have a bunch of spells here that attach to his hands, which is really cool. So this is the really cool part about this figure. Look how many accessories Doctor Strange comes with. You get all these accessories. Jeez. You get the sword. You get these things that go on his wrist. Um, green and orange. You get this thing that goes on the chest when he's opening the eye of Agamotto. And we also have this piece right here for the other hand. And we get a closed um, eyes head. But look at all these hands. What the heck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 extra hands. That's insane. And don't forget this thing, right? The big, uh, the big teleporting effect piece. That's a lot of hands. This guy comes with practically everything you need. It makes me wish that the first release, Doctor Strange, should have came like that. It just makes sense. Well, obviously, I don't think he uses this kind of sword in the, uh, in the Doctor Strange movie. But still, look at all those extra hands. That's 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 crazy. How how many accessories this guy has. So anyway, and plus he has the cool cape. So definitely worth it in my opinion. He's starting to be a really cool toy. So let's remove the head. Let's see how he looks like when he's closing his eyes and he's meditating. So there you have it. That's how he looks like right there. Let's see. Let's focus up. And there you go. That's how he looks like when he's meditating. So let's get some of these effect pieces on. Uh, let's see here, do this, so here is when he's trying to hold the Infinity Gauntlet from the movie, oh, that looks sick, wow, that looks really cool, let's see if we focus up there, whoa, 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 that looks really nice, uh, so let's get the Eye of Agamotto effect piece here, Hold on one second. Let me see. How do I put this on? 
Uh-oh. I lost the eye. Oh, hold on. It fell on the floor. We're just going to keep this on for now. I see where it is. So there you have it. So what you have to do is... Give me a second. Everyone, give me a sec. Let me go grab it. So this comes off real easy. It's the eye. And then you can put the effect piece like so. And that looks really, really cool. Let me see. Let me take this head off. I don't think it looks good with the current effect pieces. <sighs> there you have it. Boom. And let's get the sword on. Let's outfit this guy. Sure, why not? Let's see. Does he have fist hands for the sword? And let's take this off. And it should be pretty easy to put on. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, so good. So good. Uh, let's see here. So we also have a couple more things we're going to look at. I don't think I want to put the wristbands on. Those look like they might have a little bit of trouble for me right now, considering that we're trying to do this review. I might do this, might put them together at the end of the video or put on a different conclusion because we are coming up on the hour mark here. And there we go. And there you have it. I think these should just fit right. Actually, yeah, they do. Now that I think about it. Let's do this. Yeah, they do. That's really cool. Uh, let's get one of these. Oh, okay. That's not okay. So you get two. All right. Let's get the little one in. Oh, and they're pressure fit. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's cool. And I'll get the green one on at the end of the video. I think that's pretty much it. And don't forget these. I think these require special hands. I think they have require special hands. Hold on. Everyone, please stand by. Give me one second on this one. So, yeah, they do have special hands. So this is the special hand right here. And you know what? Sure, let's do it. Why not? We're here. Might as well do it. Finish this review strong. Not going to skimp you guys. So there you have it. Boom. Look at this. Pop this in the back. Have this guy right here. And what you have is a very complete, very awesome looking Doctor Strange. Let me just say, let's come up with a conclusion right now. This guy is rad. This is one of the best Doctor Strange figures I've seen to date because of the amount of accessories. The cape is wired. Um, the amount of hands and posing options you have with him definitely make this kit worth it. He's about $80 to $90, I believe, here in the U.S. And you can get this at dstartoys.com, the reliable source for us. Nothing is really wrong. I, I honestly am trying to find a way find some negative of this guy and I honestly can't find one. Uh, this is easily the best Doctor Strange figure. You know me. I love my accessories. They make the figure worth it even more. All the pieces are tight. I thought this effect piece would come off real easy. It actually doesn't. It fits really well. Everything fits perfectly. His effect piece fits perfectly. These are uh, the, um, the wrist Effect piece work really well. Those are pressure fitted on. Really, really nice. So if you're looking for the absolute best, in my opinion, I think the only thing that's missing... Oh, I just remembered. The only thing that's missing... I wish he had, like, that that one scene where he had... I, you have to get this separately. I think someone like uh, uh, Tony Tuck, uh, Takara Tony makes this, where you have, like, the eight hands in the back, so it looks like a really cool illusion. Fortunately, you cannot get that with this figure, but you can get that kit somewhere else. I believe uh, Takara Tony sells it. I think that's the only thing that's missing from this. I really like it. 
worth the money in my opinion. And yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.